On the 25th of April, 1995, battleships approaching to Gallipoli Peninsula, comprising British, French, Indian, Australian, and New Zealand soldiers, the most ambitious land invasion in World War One is about to begin. It's about two o'clock in the morning. You and the other soldiers are waiting for the landing order on the deck of SS Duana. After a few hours of waiting, you and the other soldiers as the covering force are climbing into the lifeboat to participate in the first landing wave. Battleships tow the steamboats, and each steamboat tow around six lifeboats. Steamboats cast off from the battleship around two kilometers from the shore. Then, around 90 meters from the beach, the boats cast off, and the seamen row the final distance. The landing mission is exposed. Ultimate soldiers lighting up the bacon fire and shooting at your direction. Many soldiers getting shot and wounded. In the midst of chaos, you are accidentally pushed by a soldier and fall into the water. Finally, you have made it to the shore, but many of your fellow soldiers didn't make it and were killed in the sea. Around 4:35 a.m. You and the other soldiers are ordered to chop up the hill in the dark. Around 5 a.m., your union reaches the top of the first ridge and captures the first Ottoman prisoner. From here, you go further with other soldiers and hide down into the valley in front, aiming towards the retreating enemy units and their battery on the second ridge. No long after short victory, the Ottoman launches a massive assault on your position on the 400 plateau at the southern end of the second ridge. Many Anzac soldiers have lost their lives in this attack. Kiss your leg, and you faint. Luckily, 
a soldier escorts you back to the beach and waiting for the evacuation. You are survived and evacuated from battle. Meanwhile, the remaining soldiers landed with you are still fighting in the front line. On 25th April 1995, 16,000 brave Australian and New Zealand soldiers were landed on Anzac Cove. For most of them, this was their first experience of combat. That evening, more than 2,000 of them were dead and wounded. The landing day is considered as the dawn of the Anzac legend. Anzac's brave, endurance qualities and also the dedications to their fellow soldiers have contributed to what is later known as the Anzac spirit.